Solve exponential equations involving quadratic equations. Question is to solve 3 to the power of 2x minus 7 times 3 to the power of x minus 18. As you'll notice here, if I replace 3 to the power of x with let us say a, then the equation gets transformed into a quadratic equation. See how 3 to the power of 2x basically is 3 to the power of x whole square, right? And then we have 7 times 3 to the power of x minus 18 equals to 0. Now if I replace 3 to the power of x with a, I get a quadratic equation in a, which is a square minus 7a minus 18 equals to 0. You see that? Once you get a quadratic equation, you can always factor and then find the solution. So we need two numbers whose product is minus 18 and whose sum is minus 7. So those two numbers could be what? 9 times 2, right? And 9 should be minus. So we could write this as a minus 9 times a plus 2 equals to 0. Now this gives us two solutions, right? So one of the solutions is from here and the other one is from the other factor equating them to 0. So from the first factor we get a equals to 9 and from the second factor we get a equals to minus 2. Now what are we looking for? We are looking for a which is representing 3 to the power of x. Now 3 to the power of x is always positive, correct? So this is not a valid solution for us whereas this one is valid. So from here we can find what x is. So we can write 3 to the power of x is equals to 9. Now we know 3 to the power of x is 9 is 3 square, correct? And therefore x is equals to 2 is the solution for the given equation, right? So we get our answer, that is answer is x equals to 2. You can always verify by substituting x equals to 2 into the equation. Well, you understand the strategy now. For exponential equations which look like a quadratic equation, we can always substitute the exponential part, 3 to the power of x, as some variable and then find what that variable is. And by re-substituting it back, we get our answer. So that is how we'll solve them. So we'll do one or two questions more and then with that we'll close this playlist on solving exponential equations. However, we have the next one where we'll try to solve exponential equations with the help of logarithms, right? So that will take at a next level. Thank you.